Hey, what's up everyone? Mendel here. I hope you are all doing awesome and wonderful. So in this video, I'm going to show you some basics regarding polyrhythms and polymeters in a metal context. So as always, let's dig right in. Here we go. All right, so here we are in Cubase and let's dive into polyrhythms and also polymeters, I like to say. Since it's a bit easier to grasp on, we're first gonna talk about polymeters and then I'll use that example to create polyrhythms. So bear with me. So as you can see over here on the bottom right, my signature now is three, four. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three. And I have a very simple riff, which I'm going to record. And that is going to be my main example for the polymeters and later on again for the polyrhythms. that's enough rounds and now I'm going to do the same thing for the right side I'm just going to mute these so they won't distract me You get the idea. So what I'm now gonna do, just clean it up a bit, just cut the ends. So this should be good, let's take a quick listen. So that's enough. And now what I'm going to do is first, I'm gonna program drums under it on three, four, and then I'll later change it to four, four. And that's what a polymeter is, but let me first program it. So we have this in three, four, so I'm just gonna program the kick pattern. So two, four rounds, and I'll put the snare around here. I'll do a chine on the right. So what we have now is this. Okay, so again, that's in three, four. We have a riff in three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, and the drums also in three, four. So here comes the part where this becomes a polymeter. So for example, I'm gonna duplicate this, remove my snare because the snare for me is the point where I can like headbang. It's like one, two, three, one, two, three, et cetera. And I'm gonna change this to four, four. And now I'm gonna change the snare to where it would be just a straight four. And I'll change the color so you can exactly see where it goes from three, four to four, four. Okay, so before I press play, you can see here three, four, 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 three, four, four, four. The whole riff is just playing three, four constantly. As you know, we recorded it in three, four. That's the main focus. But the drums actually change from three, four to four, four. And that's a very simple explanation of a polymeter. So let's take a listen. So 
So before we go into polyrhythms to recap, basically a polymeter is when in the same tempo, different signatures can overlap. So here you can definitely hear that when the drums play in 4-4, four, four, the snare could feel a bit odd, but it does resolve at a certain point. So then polyrhythms, that's basically when you have different groups of notes overlapping. So for an example, when you have quarter notes overlapped by triplets. All right, so here I have a simple drum beat just straight in 4-4, which goes like this. Now the polyrhythm is, so for an example, you see these triplets over here. If I'm gonna play triplets over that part, it would not be a polyrhythm. If I'm just gonna play straight notes over the triplets, so we have straight notes and then triplets underneath or upside down, whatever, however you wanna see it, that will be a polyrhythm. So my riff will be like this. So let me just first record the riff without the drums so we can just focus on the riff and then I'll play them together later on. That's the left side, so now let's do the right side. All right, so guitar-wise, now we have this. And now I'm gonna play the drums underneath it. So simultaneously on the triplet kicks, I'm playing straight. And simultaneously on the straight kicks, I am playing triplets. And then you get polyrhythms, which sounds like this. Now, if we want to make this one step further complex, there are different things you can do and hopefully this inspires you to, again to create something of your own. But what you could do is keep the drum straight, but now I'm gonna add one extra note in my riff. So my riff was. Right? But what you could do is. So it will shift through the whole bar. It could sound weird, but let's just try it. So I'm just gonna re record it without the drums. So that's my riff. Let's do the same thing for the right side. Okay, so riff wise, now we have one extra note. So it goes like this. Not the tightest playing, but it's just for demonstration. Okay, so I've added some bass for some context. Also, I've added markers here where the riff is repeating itself. And over here, the drums in 4-4, four, four, and you can see exactly where the drums restart again, where like the loop ended and then it starts over again. So you kind of see where it shifts together. And again, there's a lot of times where I just play eighth notes while there are triplets on the kicks, which is polyrhythms. And those are some basics for polymeters and polyrhythms. Hopefully this inspires you to create something of your own. 
If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments. And until then, see you next time. Cheers.